Hello guys, Shubham here back again. So Evolution X ROM community have came up with a new update and this update is the incremental update for its brand new Android 14 ROM. So this update might be one of the last update for this year from the community but also they have included some pretty good stuff. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's see how to install this ROM and also we will have a quick walkthrough. So let's get into it. So as usual at the very first time, let's jump to this telegram channel and over here you will see that this is the newest and incremental update of the Evolution X ROM running on Android 14. They have also mentioned what all things they have included in this update which is pretty much good and over here on this channel you just have to visit all the links will be given down in description and then you just have to simply click on download button like you usually do and this ROM will be downloaded on your device. So over here, let me show you, right now I am running on the Evolution X ROM which is of the previous version and this version was also pretty much good. Link to how to install this ROM is in my iBox above the video. So this is the Android 14 ROM as you just checked and saw and now let me go through the file manager and over here all these files are something which are required. So this is the Android 13 installation which are the same files we, we use for Android 14. So these two are the prerequisite and also the most important that is the rom.zip file. So these three files are basically are always important and all the links are given down in description to download these files and to install it. So now let's power off our device to the TWRP and let's go. So our device has been booted into TWRP recovery over here click on wipe and advanced wipe and wipe all the mentioned partitions which are checkboxed. You just have to clean only these partitions and you just have to swipe to confirm. Once it's done you just have to go back to your system and click on the install button. Clicking on it the prerequisite files must be installed first that is the firmware. After firmware, you have to click on add more zips and select your rom.zip file. Make sure that the firmware and the rom.zip file are installed together at one go and this must go all together. So once you select and once you swipe, the installation process will start and it will take some time. So the rom installation will take about a minute, so till then wait for some time. So here yeah, our ROM file and the firmware file has been installed successfully and all the success notes shows that there were no such issues. Now again you have to click on mount and you have to check box the vendor button. Once you do this you have to go back and now again click on install. Clicking on it you just have to again navigate to the folder and you have to now select DFE that is the disable force encryption. This is just a measure to avoid our phone getting encrypted when it's booted with your password or any other type of security. So here you can see all the files have been installed successfully and now we are all good to go back and reboot to the system. So now click on reboot and then click on system. After this our phone will start booting and you will see the Evolution X boot animation on your phone which resembles that our phone got the ROM installed properly and we are not in any type of trouble and this is a successful one. So boom our ROM has been installed and over here you will see that pretty much everything is same like right from the interface to the wallpaper and everything. But you guys know the inside stuff which the ROM community cooks up is really really good. So in about phone section you will see we are running on the latest version of the Evolution X with also the latest December security patch and that's how we do. So let's have a quick walkthrough of this ROM and see the exciting two features they have included. One is the MIUI camera and you better know what MIUI camera is capable of. You will be having the 4K 60fps video recording and that's something pretty good. You will be shooting the 60fps video in 4K resolution just like you used to shoot on the classic POCO F1, the locked version. So that's something really nice that they have included this camera 
and for me at first go it seems to be working pretty much good and you will be having 4k 60fps footage out of the box in this rom so that's pretty much good rest all the features such as hdr ai and everything for photography works perfectly fine and the next exciting feature is the dolby atmos so they have included dolby atmos in this rom and that's something really really nice that means you don't have to explicitly use any type of magic trick or any type of such extra zips to get the dolby on your phone but out of the box evolution x is offering you and they will provide you some thumping sound without flashing any other files so in my opinion this was a great move and this was a w from the community as many people want dolby or viper x type of sound on the device and this is a good step so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming this was my last video of the year and wish you all a very happy new year 2024 so see you guys again in the next year until then peace out